So now we're going to take you on a whirlwind tour of engineering. Up first, Song Lee. He's the chair of our bioengineering department. Professor Lee is a fellow of the American Institute for Medical and Biological Engineering and a fellow of the Biomedical Engineering Society. As part of Professor Lee's exciting research portfolio, he develops techniques to use endogenous stem cells to repair damaged arteries. When most people think about biology at the cellular level, they think about chemistry. One of the unique approaches Professor Lee's, Professor Lee's work is to focus on the physics, rather than the chemistry, of the action at the cellular level to better understand how cells function. So here to tell you about the bio, bioengineering department is Song Lee. Thank you very much, Rick. 30 years ago, I was an undergrad in mechanical engineering. At that time, the engineering major didn't exist. When I entered the field, it is very hard to imagine that engineering could grow to the day, uh, to the scale that what we have today. So engineering really is a relatively new engineering discipline, and it just happened in the past 20 years. And nowadays, we have over 180 universities that have a engineering major, and most just happened in the last two decades. So what do we do at the uh, engineering department? So in one sentence, we use knowledge and tools in engineering and physical sciences to solve problems in biology and medicine. So this determines the interdisciplinary nature of engineering. And you can see here, uh, our faculty is big. More than 100 faculty on this campus are involved in this uh, engineering program. And the faculty come from different backgrounds, some from engineering. We also have almost a joint faculty and affiliate faculty from every engineering department, from medical school, from dental school, from physical sciences, from chemistry, physics, et cetera. One unique feature at UCLA is that we have top engineering medical school on the same campus, and the proximity really makes a big difference. It's a big advantage for the engineering program. And that also gives a lot of opportunity to our students. To, the, to all of you, uh, if you come here, you'll find a lot of opportunities to do research. So indeed, our students have extensive research experience when they graduate. More than 90% of the undergrads here have at least one year research experience. And more than 60% of them have at least two years research experience. A lot of hands-on experience, and that help them and prepare them to get into the uh, next stage, grad school, medical school, and industry. Next slide. So now I want to briefly talk about what we do here in uh, engineering at UCLA. And roughly, we divide our research in four areas. So probably you don't know, 40 years ago, in here, orthopedic surgeons, material scientists, and mechanical engineers already collaborated to analyze artificial implants. So nowadays, we expand it much more. And the first area is called molecular cellular and tissue engineering. In this area, we engineer molecules for drug delivery to treat cancer, to treat diabetes, and many other diseases. We use stem cells and biomaterials to re regenerate tissues. And here shows one example of we, uh, we use biomaterials to uh, treat a defect in the blood vessel. And the second area is uh, biomedical devices and instrumentation. And that's what we probably have seen in, in hospitals everywhere. But now, nowadays, we have a lot of state-of-art technologies you can imagine point-of-care devices at home, you can do some self-analysis of your body condition. And wearable devices that allow you to monitor your, your own body physiology and, and everything, give you a lot of parameters. And here actually shows one example of our faculty research, and you can help blind people to see. So you basically have a camera to collect the image and convert it into an electric signal and transmit it to the brain, and blind people can see again. And the third area is imaging and signal processing, and this has a long history here as, as well. So 30, more than 30 years ago, probably you don't know, um, PET imaging and nuclear imaging were invented at UCLA, and that was related to engineering research. And now here it shows that you saw the movie, that's a, a movie of a heart chamber pumping the blood out of the heart. 
And we also analyze the brain to look at activity and function of different domains. And the fourth area is systems biology and bioinformatics that's related to big data. These days, we have so many data from different areas, not just genomics, but also monitoring data, et cetera. And we integrate all of this information in trying to make sense out of it and help doctors to make decisions. So I have a department session later this morning. I will welcome all of you, or some of you, to the session. We give you more information. Thank you. <laughs>